Hi, everybody. My name is John Hong. I'm the uh, Director of Publications as well as the AP Capstone teacher at Bishop Montgomery High School. We're a high school uh, that's located in Torrance, California. But this is about the AP Capstone program. This is kind of a new program at our school, so I'm really excited to talk to you guys about it. Uh Today, we're going to focus on the AP Capstone program. And what is AP Capstone? Well, first of all, the company that does AP Capstone is the College Board. And the College Board is the organization in the United States that does the SAT tests, the PSAT tests, and all the AP classes. So this is a huge organization that does a lot of the testing for all the high schools in the United States. They saw, oh, how can we make our students you know, better prepared for college. And they said, this AP Capstone is gonna teach our students the skills and things that they need to know um, so that they could do better in the colleges and universities. So they created a diploma program that is a two-year program and you have to take two classes in order to get this uh, diploma. And those two classes are AP Seminar and AP Research. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, those two classes with you guys, um, but it's, they are classes where we can study and explore any kind of topic. That's why I like teaching it is because every day we're talking about something new and something different. And I'll, I'll show you some examples in, in, a, in a little bit. So why should you take AP Capstone? What are the benefits of it, okay? So the first thing is that this AP Capstone program helps the students to stand out when you're applying for colleges, especially now, especially during COVID-19. And that's because a lot of the colleges and universities are not requiring students to take the SATs when they apply. So you don't have to take the SAT or ACT test for, I know for the UC schools, they're not requiring students to do that anymore. So what else can you do to stand out for these colleges? Well, this AP Capstone diploma and certificate will definitely tell the show the um, colleges that you have the skills to do well in college. The other thing is that you're going to learn key academic skills that you're going to use in college and beyond college in the workplace as well. So in the class, we learn how to do academic research. We go online to different uh, websites, find academic articles and uh, kind of journal writings and read it and learn how to analyze it and use it. Okay, we're also learning how to write academic research papers. So, um, you know, I'm teaching them the correct way to structure an outline for a research paper, how to write a work cited, do an annotated bibliography, things like that. And then the students also have to learn how to present this information in class. So the students are making PowerPoint presentations like the one I'm showing you, and they're talking in front of the class and, and sharing their information um, with me and the other students. Um, and it helps the students really become critical thinkers and creative thinkers as well. So you're going to see them kind of uh, learn, look at an issue or problem and find a solution for it. Okay. Uh, I, I think it really helps students to get comfortable talking in front of other people, as well as gain more self-confidence and become independent thinkers and problem solvers. Um, and one last thing is that a lot of colleges are actually offering college credit for the AP seminar and AP research class. Um, so if you take the class and you get a three or higher on the AP exam, they will give you college credit for it. And that way you don't have to take other classes um, in, in college. So there's a lot of great benefits for that. But I want to talk about what kind of certificate and diploma that the AP Capstone program offers. So there's two things that you could actually earn from taking the AP Capstone program classes. So the first one um, I'm going to show on the right over here is the AP Seminar and Research Certificate. So if you take the AP Seminar class, and you score a three or higher on the AP exam, 
And then after you take that class, you take the AP research class and you score a three or higher on that AP exam, then you, can, you, you earn the AP seminar and research certificate. So those are the two um, classes you need to take to get that certificate. But if you do more, so say you take four other AP classes, it can be any AP classes. So it can be like AP bio, it can be AP physics, it can be AP Spanish, whatever, any other four classes, and you earn a three or higher in on those AP exams, then you get what's called an AP capstone diploma. And that one is really looked upon uh, favorably by other colleges and universities in the United States and internationally as well. So there are actually two um, certificates or diplomas that you can earn from taking the AP capstone classes. So the first one is the AP seminar and research certificate. And the second one is the AP capstone diploma. And um, as I mentioned, they are gonna help you stand out when you're applying to colleges um, so there's actually uh, two college applications. One is the Common App. This is the Common Application. There are over 900 colleges that you could apply using the Common App. And then there's another college application called the Coalition Application. And there is about 135 colleges on that application. Those two applications for colleges and university, the Common App and the Coalition App, they actually have a space on there when you're filling it out. Do you have a AP capstone diploma or AP research and seminar certificate? So they, they recognize students who have gone through the classes and have done well in the classes. They've gotten three or higher in the AP exams. And so they, when colleges get that, they're gonna be like, oh, this student has AP capstone. We like that. We, they know how to read well, uh, academic uh, literature, they know how to write research papers, they know how to present, they know how to think critically, they know how to do all these skills that we're looking for in a college student. We want that student. So, um, and I'm gonna show you which colleges, and there's a lot that endorse the AP Capstone program. So again, Common App and the Coalition App really look favorably upon the AP Capstone program and they um, have a space on it for you to fill out if, you've, uh, if you're eligible for those two certificates that I mentioned. So as I said, there is a lot of colleges and universities and it is becoming more and more recognized by uh, you know, these top universities and colleges in the United States. Um, many of them offer college credit for passing the AP seminar and AP research course. You know, I just put some of the big name ones on um, the slide, UCLA, Columbia, Harvard, Princeton University, MIT, um, by taking these, like I said, you're gonna stand out to these schools and they're gonna recognize, oh, this student knows how to think and knows how to, how to work in a college level course. That's what this AP Capstone program is preparing you for, is to get you ready for the colleges. Um, and again, as I mentioned before, you know, a lot of these schools, they can, the students can't take the SAT or the ACT tests because of COVID-19. They don't have an online version um, and you can't go and take it in, in person. Only certain sites are doing it. So they're getting rid of, you know, looking at SAT or SA, ACT test scores and you need something else to stand out from the other students applying to all these top universities. The AP Capstone program is a really good way for you to stand out. So I, the next slide that I'm gonna show you is actually a list of the colleges and universities that um, endorse the AP Capstone program. So just looking down the list, since where I'm in California, you know, Caltech is one of our top schools. Claremont McKenna is a great school. There's UC Berkeley, UC Santa Barbara, UCLA, UC Santa. So a lot of the uh, UCs do recognize uh, and endorse the AP Capstone program. USC is one of the top schools over here as well. And you're going to see in, you know, Ivy League schools are recognizing the AP Capstone program, such as Yale, um, Georgetown University is huge. Um, I know for uh, in different states, there's Georgia Tech, 
um, uh, Johns Hopkins in Maryland, Boston College and Boston U University, Harvard in Massachusetts, um, and MIT as well. So you can see, and this is, I had to actually make <laughs> two slides because there are so many schools that endorse the AP capstone program. So this is another slide with the rest of the uh, colleges that kind of promote it and endorse it. So you see in, in New Jersey, there's Princeton, um, NYU in New York, um, you know, you see that it's top schools and colleges. So they, they recognize the importance of this program, Brown University, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And not just, um, I only put the schools in the United States, but internationally as well. Um, I saw on the AP Capstone website that in Canada, the University of Alberta also recognizes the AP Capstone program. And in uh, England, the University of London, London also recognizes the AP Capstone. So you're gonna see all these great schools, all these colleges and universities, they see you have this uh, AP Capstone diploma or the certificate, and they're gonna look at you, they're gonna take another look and say, hey, this, this student is good for us. Um, so what do we learn in AP Seminar? This is uh, some of the topics that we're learning in, in my AP Seminar class. Uh, my students have done presentations. We do daily discussions. I like to hear from my students. I want to know what they think about a certain topic or idea. I want to know their input and feedback. So, um, and every week I ask them, hey, what do you guys want to learn about today? You tell me what we learn. I don't, this, this class is a little bit different than other classes at our school because they tell me what they want to learn. I don't tell them, hey, we're going to learn about this, this, and this. They tell me what they want to learn. So the, the topics are always interesting. And the great thing is they get to do the research and find out more about each of these topics. So some of the things that we did is since, again, we're very close to the ocean, to the beach, a lot of the students, they love to go to the beach. And then they wanted to study about how pollution and the use of plastics affect our ocean life and, um, you know, kind of affect the environment. So they wanted to study about ocean life. And actually tomorrow for my class, I got a guest speaker. He is the president and CEO of the Ocean Institute. So he's going to come talk to my class on Zoom and he's going to talk about his experience working at the Ocean Institute. He told me that he um, helped clean up an oil spill and help organize that. He talked about how they studied great white sharks in the ocean. So I think it's going to be a fascinating topic for my students to learn about. Um, another interesting topic, and I know a lot of you use it, and a lot of my students use it, is social media and technology, especially now during COVID-19. Everybody is on the computer or on their phone or on some sort of technology. So we were looking at how does social media and technology affect the mental health in teenagers? You know, is it, is there too much? Is there, you know, um, is there an addiction? Can students get addicted to going on to the, the screen and looking at their phone or computer all the time? And actually we invited, the great thing about this class is we also invite a lot of guest speakers. So we had a, um, a psychiatrist come in and talk to us about mental health and how you know technology can affect your your mental health and it's good to kind of limit how much screen time you have how much uh, time you spend looking at a computer or a cell phone um, we also talked about gender inequalities in work and the school so how men and women they get different amount of pay in the work and school area so we kind of explored why why does that happen and uh, what we can do to solve that. Um, and especially since we're in California and, and they're actually going on right now still is the California wildfires. We had a lot of wildfires that went um, throughout California. Luckily, none of them were near our school near Torrance. They were in other parts of Los Angeles and California. But how did that affect the community and how did it infect the environment? What were the firefighters doing to battle it? And so we, 
we discovered a lot of interesting uh, information about the California wildfires. And the great thing, like I said, is the students come up with these topics and ideas. So if you have something that you want to study about and learn about, the great thing is you could you could learn about whatever you you like, you know, as long as we're able to research it and kind of gather information and write about it and present it. Um, I'm completely open to us studying different topics um, in, in the class. Thank you, everybody. It was wonderful talking to you. Thank you for listening. Take care, be safe, and I, I look forward to seeing some of you soon, okay?